Some residents on Bugala main island say they have endured unreliable power for decades, which is switched off every evening at 6 p.m. Badru Kavito says this has led to the closure of some factories and other businesses. In addition to fueling theft, several students studying online have also been affected. At six, the, the power is removed. They bring it back at five morning, very, very early in the morning. And we are stuck here at those times. People are not watching TV and the rest. So there is no way you could proceed with the business and online studies if power is off. So that has been affecting us. We are not getting enough power from KIS. There are times when powers could go off and some services like welding, like internet services that are very beneficial to the people of Kalangala are not working at that time. Kalangala Infrastructure Services spokesperson Joseph Mulindwa confirms the challenges. However, Mulindwa has assured residents that power will be stable and permanent after the laying of the power cables is completed in December this year. But now with the power coming from the main grid, it will be available all the time. In the case of any outage from the other side, that line from Nyendo, then we shall switch off power from here. Uh, to again, people will again uh, uh, get power all the time. So in other words, power is going to be available 24-7. Melinda says the new effort will see 1,000 free connections of power in 17 settlements, and even the power tariffs will be adjusted. A number of people settled in one. People call them landing sites, but these are nucleus villages. Completely new, they are going to access power for the first time. Yeah, In their life, it's going to be for the first time. Imano Longom, the manager of solar power operations at Kalanga Infrastructure Services, says the submarine cable power will help their station at Bukuzindu reduce the amount of diesel used in running the generators at the station. Uh, currently, we are using diesel, which is greatly affected by the fuel pump prices on the market. And uh, related to the diesel component, uh, this is uh, green energy coming in. So we expect that uh, our emissions as cares uh, would also drop down. This new power underwater cable is expected to complement the 1.6 megawatts per hour solar power plant at Bukuzindu village with 33 kV changeover switches to be constructed at Bukakata Island in Masaka and Bogoma Island in Kalangala beginning next year. 